when I make pies, I have a certain pie dough recipe that I always use. But when I make tartlets, this is my favorite recipe. This is sort of like a brown sugar cookie tart dough is what I call it. I got this recipe from a really good friend of mine who moved to Florida and who I miss. And she's an accomplished chef and a really darn good cook. Anyways, here is room soft butter, one stick, one half cup of shortening. That'll give it some nice tenderness. Okay, and to that we're going to add half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. And at this point I'll add a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to put that on our mixer. And cream that up. I think at this point I'm also going to add my one teaspoon of vanilla. As I always like to do, I love to scrape down the sides to make sure that everything is getting mixed in and not left out. Half on the next one. And at this point, I will add my one whole egg. I'm telling you, this dough is really, really good. And here I have two cups of all-purpose flour and one half cup of cornstarch. Again, another thing that's going to make a very tender dough. Add my cornstarch first. Give that a little mix. When I make this dough, I usually double or triple it. Not, I, I do separate doughs and I make a lot of little tartlet shells because they freeze beautifully and you can keep them in the freezer. All right, the cornstarch is mixed in. And now I'm going to add all the flour, all at once. The dough, when I finish it, is going to be a little bit on the soft side. That's why we're going to wrap it in plastic wrap. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, half an hour, until it sets up and becomes a little bit easier to roll. Tap down all the flour on the side, mix it up well. And that is our pie shell dough. You can see it almost looks like um, the dough for chocolate chip cookies, that consistency. Without the chips, of course. Take it out. Put it on our plastic wrap. I cannot tell you how many times I have made this recipe. It's so good. And easy. You saw how easy it was to make. I'm going to wrap it, turn it over, give it a couple of smushes, flatten it to a somewhat of a disc. Now, into the refrigerator, minimum 20 minutes, uh, half an hour. You could do it overnight, it doesn't matter. If you do it overnight, you might want to take it out at room temperature about 15, 20 minutes before you start rolling it because it might get just a little bit too hard overnight, but into the fridge. Well, my dough is chilled and it's been in the refrigerator for over half an hour. So I'm going to start rolling it. Before I do, I, I thought I would do an assortment of shapes just to show you the different um, shapes you can make. No matter which ones you make, uh, some recipes call for a pre-baked shell and some call for an unbaked shell. So you might want to make a few of both. Either way, I have to spray them with a cooking spray. That just helps me ensure that they're going to come out great. All right, we need some flour. I'm 
unwrap our dough. Now, you might see in this dough some flecks there. That's just a piece of brown sugar that didn't get dissolved. It's not a problem, believe me. This flour my pan. Still a very sticky dough. Gonna cut the dough in half and work it in half. I'm having a hard time here. Don't worry if your dough breaks up, just patch it back together again. It's a very forgiving dough. That's good enough to start. So what I do is I take one of my tart pans, put it on the dough, and this is like an eyeball with a sharp knife. I cut it larger than it has to be. Put a little spatula, lift it up. And don't worry, this is not the kind of dough that you have to be careful about not re-rolling it. You can re-roll this as many times as you want. It's not like a, a very delicate pie dough. This is more like a sugar cookie crust. Okay, just press it in. If there's any little holes, no problem. Press the dough, it's nice and buttery. And this is what I do. I just brush it off with my hand. And fit it in there. If I've got a spot that's not covered, press a little dough in. This is why I said this is an extremely forgiving dough. So if you've never made Tarts before, this is a good one to try. And there's my first shot. Now, let me try one of the boats. Call that the boat. Bigger than the shell. Put it in. I like these little ones because when you make a whole bunch of them on a tray and say you make some lemon ones, some chocolate ones, some pumpkin ones, um, some cream ones with the fruit on top, it is a wow presentation. Now, what? let's talk about making these before time. You don't have to make these the day that you need them. I make them weeks and weeks before I need them. I freeze them just like this. In, a sh in, the, in the tin, I wrap it up in plastic wrap, and then I put a whole bunch of them into a big freezer Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer, and I can use them anytime I want. Same thing with the baked ones. You bake them, pop them out of here, do the same thing, and you could freeze them. Then when you have, you know, companies coming over, you can just pull out one or two, four, five, six, whatever. They defrost in like five minutes, fill them, and you're good to go. So I'm just going to keep making more shells until I use up all my dough, and then we'll talk about baking. Well, our dough is in the pans and it's ready to go into the oven. We made quite a few. This was all from that one batch that we made. I got five big ones, one, two, three, four, five medium ones, and then the rest were all these small ones. In addition to the boats, I also made some round ones and a heart one, and just to show you the difference. Now, I have these on two sheets. These I'm going to bake because three of the type of the tarts that I'm going to make need baked shells. And these I'm not going to bake because these need to be filled and then baked. So I'm gonna put those off to the side. These are going into a 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes until they start getting brown. And no, I am not going to put beans in them or anything. These are, these are baking blind, but they don't, unlike high dough, they don't puff up in the middle a lot. Just very little. You'll see what I mean. Okay. 
Here are our baked tart shells out of the oven and they're nice and cool so I can actually handle them. This is how you unmold them. Here's the one with the removable bottom, so that one's kind of easy. You just take that off and then Okay, and then there you go. You've got a baked tart shell. Now, these other ones that don't have a removable bottom, I just take a, a paring knife with a very sharp tip, find one of the little corners, and just lift it up. So it's not that difficult to do if they're baked correctly, if they're not too underdone. So some of them we're going to leave in the shell because we're going to bake a lemon um, filling in them. The others we're going to take up because we're going to put a fruit filling in them.